Hello and welcome to my cooking show. This is Leanne Maloney again, here to show you some really cool things with Pampered Chef. You know, the first thing that I thought about doing today um, was a Christmas in July themed show. But then I thought, you know what? It is way too hot to turn the oven on and bake cookies. And so I went a different route, because hey, I can. I'm my own boss. But um, we can still think about Christmas throughout the show, and I can show you some things that might make good stocking stuffers or something that you might need um, for your holiday cooking. But what I'm gonna show you tonight is a meal um, with chicken. We're doing a Peruvian chicken with a Peruvian green sauce and some cilantro lime rice on the side. And you know, of course, the, when I started thinking about doing this, I thought about making a whole chicken in the air fryer rotisserie and showing you how that worked. But unfortunately, um, like the procrastinator that I am, I bought a whole chicken and I let it sit in the fridge too long and it went bad. So I'm going with plan B and I'm just gonna use some frozen chicken breasts that, uh, that I have. And what's really cool, I'm gonna show you how to um, cook in this quick cooker. This is called our quick cooker. Um, it's just a lot like your Instapot, only better. And it has all kinds of different settings on it. And tonight I'm gonna use it on the poultry setting. So, in fact, before I get started, I'll just kind of tell you a little bit about this. Um, it kind of looks like a radio, doesn't it? It has a little dial here. But um, it does all kinds of things. It does, it steams, it sears, it will slow cook, and it will proof your bread. If you need some, um, if you're making some bread, it will um, help that to rise. Um, it has a setting for chicken and poultry, beef and pork, fish and seafood, soup, stock, beans, stew and chili, and even dessert. You can make a cheesecake in here, which I've had before and it's delicious. Um, an Oreo cheesecake, we could do that on another show. Um, then you could have, all, you could cook whole grains, brown rice, and white rice. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is tell you the design of this is so special. You know, normally on your Instapot, um, you might be afraid to push the steam release because it's too close to the steam where it actually re releases. Well, our button is way far away from where the release comes out, or <laughs> from where the steam comes out. So that is definitely different than the others. And you always wanna cook with, um, you have this ring in here. Now this is what seals in and makes it a pressure cooker. Um, so you wanna make sure that that is in correctly. And we have a bunch of different rings you can, um, you can get for this. And also, you know, you just throw them, take them out and throw them in the dishwasher to clean them. So I'm gonna put that over here for a second. And I've got my chicken. And I don't like to handle raw meat without my gloves on. I know, it's crazy. But, all right, so we've got some chicken here. I'm just gonna put it right in the top. And we're gonna set it in the bottom. And it is still somewhat frozen, which is fine. It's gonna cook great in here. So that's what's lovely about this thing, is that, you know, if you're thinking about cooking dinner and you get home from work and you say, uh-oh, I didn't thaw any meat out, well, it doesn't matter because it can cook in here frozen, from frozen. So that's all we do there. And now, we're gonna put our, get our sauce, our seasonings together. Now, Peruvian cooking in the cuisine is so, um, they're not afraid of spices. They're not afraid of, um, flavor and so this is going to be our flavoring of the chicken that we're going to put in here we're going to start with some vegetable oil and this is my small batter bowl pampered chef and it is solid glass microwave safe oven safe dishwasher safe freezer safe everything and um, with a nice little handle and a spout so it's easy to pour we're going to take our serrated this is my tomato knife but I use it for my citrus as well we're gonna cut this and make a half a lime. Juice, juice half a lime in here. Now let me tell you one, one thing about when you're shopping for limes or any kind of citrus. Um, the way to pick one out, yeah, you gotta pick them up and you gotta feel them. If they are smooth to the touch and they're not bumpy, that means that they are ripe. So you wanna look for the smooth side, the smooth outer edge. So I'm gonna take half of the lime and this is my ju juicer. I love it. And it's dishwasher safe as well. You can do any kind of lime, lemon, anything that would fit in here. 
and I'm going to take the cut side and put it down where it's facing out, okay, and push the juice out. And this way it will get a lot more juice come out if you do it that way. All right, dishwasher safe as well. Always want to be cooking near the, di the garbage can where you can easily throw things. If you don't have a garbage can, right near where you're cooking, just get a little bowl like Rachel Ray does, and um, you can get things cleaned up real easily. I'm going to save that in my prep bowl for the next thing I'm going to do. These come in a set of six. They're one cup capacity with the lids. I use them all the time. Everybody at work sees me with these. I either have uh, yogurt um, in them for, for breakfast or uh, dressing with my salad or whatever I'm doing. And one thing I did forget to get is a towel. Now I'll just grab this one. Okay, so we've got our juice line. And now we're gonna put two teaspoons of sugar in there. And we have one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. It's going to be yummy. And then we have a teaspoon of paprika. And we're going to do some salt and pepper. And this is also a Pampered Chef item. Uh, our salt and pepper grinders, these are the older version. Um, but they have a nice new uh, uh, stainless steel version. All right, we're going to mix all this up. It's going to make like a paste. So, you know what? We're going to probably just have to put this... Um, let me smell. Oh, that smells so good. All right. See that? Stainless steel whisk. Our whisk is wonderful because it is solid in the handle. Nothing, no food gets stuck up in there. It has stair-step design on the, on the spindles, I guess you call them. Um, so it whisks everything up wonderfully. I'm going to throw that in the dish, the sink. And now what we're going to do with this is we're going to, um, oh, ooh, ooh, I almost forgot, garlic. We can't do, not do garlic. So here's our garlic press, and it comes with this nice little brush. So you can clean out the holes. Can y'all see that? Can you see that, Parker, on the thing? All right. So I'm going to do four garlic cloves. Now, I know you can buy minced garlic in a jar, but that's like, um, that's the same thing as buying a cut up onion and using it months later. The flavor and the smell and all of that, you want to, um, you want to use this. Well, I think someone's outside shooting some fireworks. I hope that's what that is. But anyway, we're going to put a garlic clove down in here. And we're going to mix that out. I mean, July 4th is over, but I just, I don't know if y'all heard that on the video. But So, like I was saying, fresh garlic is so much better to use than the minced garlic that's in a jar because it's more flavorful and... Um, it's cheaper too. So um, all you want to do is pull a clove of garlic off of the bowl. Stick it in the garlic press and push down over the bowl or cooking wherever you are. Skillet, whatnot. And it should come right out. You'll have some to scrape off. That's fine. It is kind of sticky. It might even, like it did there, it will um, stick to the whatever you call that middle part, easy to clean. So we're going to put two more in here. And when you buy garlic, um, or when, actually, when you, after you buy garlic, with the way you're going to store it, you don't have to put it in the refrigerator, okay? Please don't put, don't put garlic or, or onion in the refrigerator. Stick it in a, cold, in a dark, cool place. Usually your pantry will do fine. I have a, spe a, a special little container to put all my garlic and onion in. Now see, here's the other little part of this brush. The brush is great to push through here to clean it, but it also has a little hook on this side to grab whatever you need to. All right, so one more will do, because we're doing four. 
And if you can hear, if you hear some shots or something, that is actually somebody across the street still thinks it's July 4th. So they're gonna, they're celebrating, which is fine, but I hope they're not bothering you. And we're, they're kind of bothering me, but I'm not gonna say anything. All right, now we're gonna take that out easily. See how that goes? Perfect. Okay. Okay, now I've got my four garlic cloves in here, mince, pressed, sorry, pressed in here. And I'm gonna mix it up in my paste. And let's try to keep it from, keep it all in there. I'm gonna use my silicone basting brush. I love this thing. This is great for anything you're doing, whether it's putting oil on a pork tenderloin to sprinkle rub on to stay, or you know, putting any kind of oil on a meat, or egg wash on a pretty pastry. This is great. So what I'm gonna do is take it over here and we're gonna put it, <laughs> if it'll come out, we're going to just kind of set it on top of our chicken, like so, okay? Do you hear the fireworks now? I was just told that I can't say anything about uh, miss, messing up holidays because um, they may think it's still July 4th, um, but I was trying to make it um, Christmas in July, so I stand corrected there. But they're having fun. All right, so see how I'm just kind of putting this on top, and as this cooks, that'll this will this will drizzle on around and it'll get on the bottom and it'll be nice and tasty. So okay. There's a little bit more. This is probably supposed to be the amount for a whole chicken, so this will probably be pretty flavorful <laughs> for four um, boneless chicken breasts. Let me move my other arm around a little bit better. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell this. Look at this. It's going to be so delicious. You know, the quick cooker is so easy to use. So many useful ways to use it, um, especially if you don't want to turn on that oven at night and it speeds up your cooking. And it's the pressure cooker, keeps all of the nutrients and flavors in the food while it's cooking. And you'll, I'll show you the steam release after we're done. All right, so I think that's on there pretty good. That little piece is really. Um, seasoned nicely. I should move that over here. All right, here we go. Actually, let me just scrape. It smells so wonderful. Let me get a little bit more on there. Okay, so what's lovely about this piece too is that we're not only going to cook the poultry, now we're going to stick the rice on top, and that'll be the next thing. Okay, so just to recap what we've done, I put my frozen chicken breasts in the pan, and I have placed this, it's more like a paste of um, the uh, Peruvian uh, seasonings on top. And I'm also gonna put some sprigs of fresh oregano since it did call for some ground oregano and I don't have any, but I just happen to have some fresh oregano from my garden and it smells so good. And I'm just gonna lay these on top and this will, this will um, do the trick just as well. Okay, so it didn't look pretty. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the rice. So what I wanna do first is, and all of these pieces can come with the quick cooker. The quick cooker has like a, 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 a basic set, but then there's other things you can get like the um, ceramic bowl, and this is lovely. So this is a, a, a rack that you set down in here. This has a lot of different uses. So um, you could hard boil eggs. You could put six on here and stick them down here with a tiny bit of water and hard boil the eggs for about 12 minutes and they're perfect. And they easily peel and everything. So that's another use for it. But I'm gonna stick it back down in here on top of my chicken where it will sit, okay? And that is where the bowl of rice is going when we get it ready. So let's get the rice going. The first thing we have is, um, uh, we're gonna put in here is the rice, I think. Is that what we're gonna do first? Oh, sorry, I forgot one thing. We wanna rinse the rice. Now, this has to do with cooking it in a pressure cooker, but I need to put this under water, so I'll be right back. Okay, I took my rice, 
and I had it in my Easy Read measuring cup, which I'll show you in a minute, but I put it in my stainless steel colander to rinse it out or just to get it wet. I'm sure this has to do with the way it cooks in there and just you have to get it all nice and ready to go. All right, I'm going to get another little spoon, actually one of my favorite little mini silicone whisk, and we are going to take two cups of chicken stock or chicken broth, whichever you have, and I'm going to measure it in here. Now, the lovely thing about these, and they come in a set, um, is that the measurements are on the inside, so when you, I don't know if you can get this on camera, can you? So when I'm going to pour two cups, I don't have to like bend down to see if that's the right amount or whatever. I'm just looking at it right here, eyeballing it, and I'm going too fast and making that splatter. So this is the two cup easy read measuring cup. It is microwave safe. You could melt butter in here. You could melt chocolate, whatever you need to do, dishwasher safe and all that. And um, so I'm going to pour this, isn't that neat, in my rice. And we're about ready to throw this, turn this on and get it going. So there's, there's my broth and my rice. And now I want to um, do... Uh, oh, the cilantro. Mm -hmm. Hold on just a minute. I just need to make sure that I place the rice, the broth, the garlic. We're going to do garlic, so let's go ahead and do that. One more clove of garlic right in. And I'm going to spray it. Scrape it off like that again. And stir that up a little bit. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. We also want to take that other half of that wine and we're going to juice it. Actually, do we juice the wine after it's in? Use the, yeah, this is after it's cooked. I'm glad I read the instructions. You see, I'm not the perfect chef. I'm the pamper chef. So I'm going to wait to do that wine at the end. So the rest of what I have to put in here, I've got the garlic. I've got the chicken broth and the rice is my cilantro. So I've got my cilantro leaves and in a prep bowl, watch this. These are our kitchen shears. They come apart for easy cleaning and they are extremely sharp. And I will highly recommend when you are carrying these around, do not carry them by one hand. I did that one time. I carried it by one part of it and this part went zoop and right down into the floor. So don't do that. Be sure you're safe with your shears. Hold them like this, and we're gonna cut, chop up our cilantro. Now you could also do this with the manual food processor if you have that. Um, that's a great tool to have as well. Great for salsa making, um, anything you wanna chop up finely. But this is just kind of a handy way to do it too. So oh, that smells, I'm telling you, fresh, her fresh herbs are the way to go. They're so yummy and they smell great. And now we're going to pour this into our rice. And this is going to be cooking on top of the chicken. All right, so you want to get a shot of that? This is all ready to go. Now, the last thing we have to do is we put this stretch fit lid. It's a silicone lid. It has some steam release holes here, so it, it just makes it easy cook very well. Oh, and there's one other, one other little piece that I need to go grab, because once we set it in here, we want to have an easy way to get it out. Hang on just a second. Okay, so this is the piece I, met, I forgot, is the little handle, and it's what this is, a little cradle that holds this in. So now you can easily put it in over the chicken. It sits like that. So when we're ready to take it out, we'll feel like that. There you go. Okay, just to recap, we have our chicken. It's semi-frozen in the bottom of this thing with our Peruvian spices paste, whatever you want to call it, with um, oregano and some paprika and cumin and garlic and all these lovely flavors. So now what I'm going to do, oh, and then, sorry, then we have the little stand on there, in there, and our rice on top. 
So now what I want to do is put the lid on it. Now you want to make sure anything, if you have an Instapot or you're wanting to get the quick put cooker, make sure that you use it in an open area. Don't cook under your cabinets with this because the steam can destroy your wooden cabinets. So I'm going to plug it in and it automatically turns on when I do that. So now I'm going to put the lid on. Isn't that cute? It makes little funny sounds. Okay. So now it is on and I'm going to turn it to chicken poultry. So you just turn this dial till you get to chicken poultry right here. And now I want to make sure that my steam release is in the right setting. This is the button um, where you're going to release the steam later. So you want to make sure that it's flush because in a minute when it's done, you're going to push that down. And then there's two little icons that kind of match up here. So I'll make sure that's right how that goes. And I'm going to hit start. And then for the next few minutes, however long it takes, you're going to see this little dial going around until it gets to pressure. You'll know it's at pressure because there's a red button up here on the top that is going to pop up and uh, so you'll know it's working. Okay, so we're going to set that aside for a minute and um, I think now I'm going to show you the green sauce. I'm going to use my deluxe cooking blender for that. Um, but before I do, I want to tell you a little bit about what's on sale. Um, when you spend $80 or more uh, this month, you get your choice of a freebie. Um, you either get a set of metal straws, which I love. I take these to work. I don't ever have to buy another plastic straw again. And it comes in this cute little pouch with a cute little um, brush to clean. So it's perfect. And this would be a great little stocking stuffer for anybody that likes to drink a lot of water, gets a tall water bottle or whatever. These are nice tall straws. The other thing is you can choose between that or the um, ice cream dipper, which I don't have the newer version because I gave it away, but because I do like to give away things, by the way, but I, I don't know where it is. But anyway, I've got the old one, so it still works great. So those are your two freebies. If you place your order between now and the end of July, you can get your name in the hat for the drawing of the host benefits of this show. What I mean by that is um, a host of a show usually invites me into their home, invites their friends over, we do a cooking show, and everyone gets to shop, and the host gets free products, half price items, discount, and all that good stuff, because she's helped me sell my products for a night. So, since I am the host and the consultant tonight, I'm going to give away the, um, the free host products. So, anyway, if you place your order before the end of the month, you can get your name in that hat, okay? So, alright, we're going to move on, and I need to get my um, things out to do the green lime sauce, and I'll, <laughs> green, green lime sauce, and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We have our Peruvian chicken with our cilantro lime rice cooking over here in the quick cooker. And now I'm going to use my deluxe cooking blender to make the uh, sauce. So I'm telling you what, both of these, I mean, you don't even have to have any other kind of appliance in your kitchen. These can do everything. This is our, called a deluxe cooking blender because it can actually cook. You can put squash in here, make squash soup. You can uh, do a chocolate sauce. Um, it has a heating element, so it will cook your food at the correct temperature. Um, when you're using eggs to make a sauce, and you don't want them to get curdled and overcooked, and um, you want to make it creamy, um, it works perfectly for that. So I've turned it, let's see, I've plugged it in. I'm gonna turn it on. It looks a lot like the quick cooker with the dial and all the different things that it does. Um, you can make a smoothie, you can make uh, different kinds of milk. You can make almond milk, cashew milk. Um, it'll grind. It'll do soup. It'll do heated puree. It'll make jam and sauce. And then the other lovely part about it is it has a heating, a heat, a heat wash setting so that you clean it um, right here. Um, I love to make homemade peanut butter. We just stick a jar of peanuts in here nothing else no added oil no added butter no, nothing no added sugar um, just pure peanut butter and it's delicious 
Um, so we make that quite often. Um, I want to say that the horsepower is 400 on this. Don't quote me on that, but it is pretty, pretty powerful. Um, this comes off easily. There's a little lip here so you can handle it. It is kind of heavy because it is a very thick glass. It's not going to shatter on you. It's um, very, very sturdy. It has six blades in there, different, different, different heights. Um, it has uh, measurements on it that are uh, etched in the glass. It only sits one way, so you can't mess that up. And that, this has a, this is where it talks to each other. It's got this little, you can see the little, <laughs> what do you call those, prongs? And that's how it all gets connected and turns on. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is a green sauce, and I've got 24 um, sprigs of cilantro with the stems included. I'm just going to stick those down in there. Well, you know what? I probably don't have to do this, but just, just so, I'm going to cut it in half with my kitchen shears. If I didn't say before, these are the workhorse of the kitchen as well. They will cut through chicken bone or anything really hard that you need done. So I've got my cilantro with the stems. And now I've got jalapenos. These little things came from my garden. <laughs> I don't know. They might be really hot. I have no idea. But they're kind of small because they were the only ones out there so far. So I'm going to cut the edges off. And I'm going to cut them in half. And I'm going to take the seeds out. The seeds are what makes the heat when you have jalapeno, chili pepper, any of that nature. So I'm going to take my little, my little scraper here and take that out. Ah, well, they're so small, I'm having trouble getting my hand on it to get that done. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to use my little quick cut paring knife. That will work. Now, once you, you know, it's okay to be, you know, touching these, but do not touch your eyes afterwards. You need to wash your hands real good after handling a hot pepper. Okay, so taking these off here, trying to, but they're so small. I really took these off the vine too soon. <laughs> That's my problem. It's not the tool, it's me. But I wanted to use it for my garden. So, all right, so I got all the seeds out. And I'm just going to scrape them out there. I'm going to pop these in here. And then I'm going to take the juice from a half a lime again. It's lime and cilantro day. It's lime, cilantro, and garlic day, really. And I need my knife again to do that. So I'm going to cut this in half. And again, cut side down. And we'll give all the juice we need out of that. Okay, I have a, I have a shoulder issue and it kind of makes things hard when I go above my head to squeeze. There we go. All right. There we go. It doesn't keep me from cooking though. I like to cook. There we go. And by the way, if you hate to cook, you need Pampered Chef. If you love to cook, you deserve Pampered Chef. If you want to learn to cook, I need to come to your house and teach you how to cook with Pampered Chef. So, it's, we've got something for everybody, that is for sure. So, all right, now we've got our, saw, our, our juice, and oh, we still got garlic, the other star of the show. We've got two cloves of garlic in here. So, we're just going to, you know what, they're so small, I'm going to pop them in at the same time. Just squeeze them in. I need a step ladder for this, right? All right, there's our garlic. And then we've got some Parmesan cheese, quarter cup. And we need a tablespoon of white, white vinegar. So I have my white vinegar. This is our other, we have two different sets of measuring spoons. Um, this one's adjustable, so it goes from a tablespoon uh, down to a teaspoon. So you just have one thing that you can measure out. You can do, so, um, you know, seasonings, dry ingredients, or you can do liquid like this. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of white vinegar in here. 
want to go slow when you're measuring things like that so they don't spill out. Or measure it in a prep bowl and then pour it in. That way you can get your ingredients exact. All right, we need some salt. Quarts, quart teaspoon. Um, we're going to call that a quart teaspoon. And we're going to do some mayonnaise. So this will be uh, a half a cup. Um, now, here's one of my oldie but goodie favorites. This is called the uh, measure all cup. It measures everything. It can measure liquids on this side with the blue. And this is the little cup. So it goes to one cup measurement. It has the spout so you can pour your liquids out. Turn it over. Push this plunger down and decide where you want to put it. I need a half a cup. So I'm putting it there. And I'm just going to spread out here a half a cup of mayo. And this little gadget too is fun, and I forget the name of it. It's our little, one of our little spreaders, and it has a serrated edge on one side, and it's just small enough to get in those jars and perfect places that, that you can't always get a big spoon in. So, all right. I'm trying to think of other things I need to tell you about. This is going to get loud in a minute when I turn it on. I'm not sure how long it'll go for. But watch this. So you push this over and boom. You've got what you're... Easy, no mess. I didn't have to dig it out of something. Threw it right in there. Okay, so we've got everything. We've got the cilantro, we've got the jalapeno, we've got the half of the juiced lime, we've got two garlic cloves, Parmesan cheese, white vinegar, salt, and mayo. Now. All we gotta do is put this back on. There's only one way to put this on because you can, you'll know if it's on right or not, but that's what snaps it in place and it knows that it's ready to go. So now I'm gonna turn it to, turn it to sauce. Let's see. All right. You know, it's sauce, but I don't know that I need I mean, it is a sauce, but I don't know if it needs to be heated up. But we're just going to try it. All right, let's go. All right. Might need to use a tool. This is called a tamper. If you see... Um, some of your ingredients getting stuck on the edges and rising up like 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 peanuts do you can take this tamper and push back down and get it in there and that'll push it back down into to the blade it's not too long it needs the exact you know measurement where it won't it won't get messed up it won't get messed up by the blade because it's the perfect exact length it needs to be. All right, so that, let's put that back on. And we've got our sauce going. And let's take a look over here at the quick cooker. And it looks like it's on a four. I don't know if it's going up or down in time, but is it going down? So it's only got three, four minutes, three minutes left to cook, and it'll be ready to serve. Okay. Now, I'm not sure... This really didn't need a heat, so I'm thinking I can just turn this to blend because um, it is a sauce, but it's not a sauce we're cooking. So I'm gonna make the executive decision here to cancel, and instead of doing uh, the sauce, the sauce setting, I'm just gonna go to blend. Or grind, really, let's see. Where did it go? All right. All right, let's go that way. You know what? No, let's just do custom. That's what I need. Where's my custom setting? Cancel. All right, let's just start it. We're just going to grind it up a little bit. It would be smart if I had my book out. <laughs> And I could be more exact about this. But there, it, everything, especially like the quick cooker, the deluxe cooking blender, um, 
everything comes with a how-to book along with recipes. Okay, so um, I think that's blended up enough, but I wanted to show you, like, for instance, the Deluxe Cooking Blender, which is this right here, um, comes with the book and it shows you a guide. Everything that you can cook with it, how to make smoothies, what settings to use, how to make um, smoothie bowls, um, alternative, alternative milk settings, what to do there. Um, anyway, so all of these books always, these nice things come with a lovely how-to. So, all right, we're almost done. Um, let's see, where are we at? One minute. Okay, so what happens is when this is done and it starts beeping at me, see the red button is up? Um, that means it's gone to pressure and it's been cooking all this time. So let's say when it gets done, you're not exactly ready to serve it. That's okay because it automatically goes into a warm setting. You don't have to do anything. It just goes to warm. But it's about done and I'm going to... Um, I, oh yeah, we got to do the, the line on the rice and we'll be ready. So I'll serve it up in just a minute and show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. Last little bit I want to show you. The quick cooker is done um, cooking and it has uh, finished up and now it's counting up. I think that says number two. And so it's been warming for two minutes. So it's time for me to let the steam out and you want to warn your family about this before you do it. So here we go. You ready? This is why you don't want to be cooking under your cabinets because this is about to shoot up in the air. Okay? And notice my hand, I've pushed right here. It's nowhere near the steam to release that. So we'll just let that kind of die down a minute. And once it's all done, we will serve up our dinner. Hello everybody, we are back and we have our meal finished in this quick cooker. We have our Peruvian green sauce over here. So the first thing I want to do is take, I don't need these right now, but we're going to take the lid off. Okay. It's still on warm setting, which you can leave on. And, uh, yeah, it's going to smell delicious. Okay. Now you're going to want to use our little... You're going to hate me. Andy's saying don't do it. I'm going to do it. I had to. Anyway, I'm going to put this over here. This is my rice. I'm going to put my rice on there. And we're going to take the lid off. This is that silicone lid. Oh my God goodness look at that doesn't that look delicious we're gonna take our half a lime I'm telling you lime isn't everything all right and we're gonna put it on the rice just like so delicious this looks so healthy too right all right so now what's in the bottom of this is the cooked chicken look at that so I'm going to take this out and throw it in the sink for a minute. And I'm going to serve this up. Hold on, hold on. Get the spoons. Okay. So let's get this nice piece right here. It's got our oregano on top. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. And we've got our rice with our lime sauce. We'll put here. I'm kind of hungry. I'm just going to serve it up. And then we have our green sauce. And we're going to just pour that over the top and try this out. All right. I hope y'all have enjoyed this. I hope it's inspired you to um, try new things and uh, think about cooking this fall and what you need for your holiday cooking and also for, um, for your stockings, whatever you need for Christmas. Um, 
The cool thing about Pampered Chef these days, if you haven't ordered in a long time, um, anything you order comes straight to your door. The order is processed right away. There's no waiting on a show to close or whatever. When you place your order, it gets into the queue and it comes to you via FedEx directly to your door. Um, I have an audience here of four-legged friends that want some of my chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> dig in and see. And see, look, I wanna show you the way this chicken cooks in the quick cooker. It's juicy, it's perfect, um, it's, it's awesome. Oh my goodness. And di I'm gonna dip it right here in this. Mm, put a little rice in it. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna have to let this cool for a minute. <laughs> my nose is itchy. All right, so I'm gonna let this cool just a second. But I'm hungry. I gotta try my food, right? Isn't that what you gotta do? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You can't have any. Oh. That's delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So anyway, if you have any questions, we're gonna put the um, where to order. There is a link to our show that we've got going on, and we'll put it here in the video. And um, I think that's it. I'm sorry, I'm talking while I'm eating. <laughs> that's not very polite. Anyway, thank you again for joining me. If you want to host a show and do something like this, we can do it like this and do a video, or I can come live and do a cooking show for you in your house with your friends. Um, there's all different kinds of ways to have a party, and um, I always like parties. So anyway, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm. It's good. It smells delicious. <laughs> My turn. Yep. Get to sit and smell this. Mmm. Blow on it. Mm. Oh wow. That's amazing. Mmm. <laughs> you can cut it any time. <laughs> you should put them in. <laughs> yeah, I do.